lose family and fame. Meg trembles as Great and Carter jokes at Sussex's wrong move after Megxit may be jail. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have done something they'll live to regret after quitting the royal family. Great and Carter says the Sussex's decision to part ways from the royals will come back to haunt them when they realize their children have no relatives. Harry and Meghan announced they were stepping back as senior royals in 2020. The pair then moved to California and afterwards released a memoir and a show on Netflix. Harry and Meghan are just fascinating concepts, Carter told The Telegraph. They've done something they'll live to regret, which is their children having no relatives. They have no cousins that they see, no uncles or aunts, and they don't even see grandparents except for just one. That will come back to haunt them at a certain point. Montecito is gorgeous, but it's God's waiting room. There's nothing, nothing to do. It's a 40-minute drive from L.A. There can't be many kids there because young families can't really afford it. It's a lonely, beautiful place. The couple recently said they were involved in a near-catastrophic car chase with paparazzi. The incident occurred after the Sussexes had attended an awards ceremony in New York City. Carter said, I've lived in New York City for 50 years, and you can't go faster than three miles an hour. When I first read about it, I thought, that doesn't look right. They have too much attention. Legendary editor Graydon Carter is either puncturing egos of the powerful or throwing receptions in can, but knows how to keep us hooked. Glamour is a good thing, he says. It's a significant part of life. There is no shortage of the stuff here. We're sitting in the restaurant of the Hotel du Cap Eden Rock in Antuez, where Carter is preparing to host his can party. Clad in a bespoke blue linen jacket, Gucci slippers, and white trousers, with the portliness of a 73-year-old who has drunk deeply of the good of life, his gray mane thin to the verge of extinction, Carter is in his element. Behind him, super yachts rest smugly on his sparkling Mediterranean. Helicopters chug-a-chug -chug overhead. Men and women hasten to and fro with earpieces in. Somewhere in the distance, a guitarist is soundchecking. The following evening, hundreds of glad-ragged attendees will descend. Carter likes a party. During the 25 years he spent as editor of Vanity Fair, he made the magazine's annual Oscars party into the most talked about event of the night, even ritzier than the awards themselves. He also hosted an annual do at Cannes, to which the present event is a kind of successor. It's under the banner of Carter's new adventure, Airmail, an online magazine and co-hosted with David Donslov, CEO of Warner Brothers Discovery, to mark 100 years of Warner Brothers. The Oscar party got too big. It was too much of an event, Carter says. The Cannes one was always much more fun and relaxed. There's an unspoken rivalry here. A few days earlier, Vanity Fair has hosted its own event at the same hotel, and the consensus is it was a bit of a letdown. Carter is back, party daddy, to show them how it's done.